One of my arguments in my book and in other pieces I've written is that uh, one can't simply say that what we need is a good process. One has to be concerned with the outcomes of process. Uh, but reciprocally, uh, as Patsy Healy, a very well-known British planner, argues, social justice meant a concern not merely with the justice of outcomes, but also with the process through which policies are articulated and implemented. Now, I would say that the balance that you want to place between process and outcome depends on the particular context uh, in which you're located. Uh, the United States now, planners having been thrashed for implementing plans that people didn't like, now say, oh, well, we won't tell you what to do at all. We'll simply focus on the process and what we'll be as mediators and everybody else should decide what should be done uh, and we'll just be there giving information and mediating among you and, and all my students believe very strongly in participation. Uh, but they won't tell you what it is that they want the plan to look like, except that they're all for mixed use. But besides mixed use and sort of a Jane Jacobs view of the streetscape, uh, they have very little concept of what the outcome should be. On the other hand, in Singapore, what you tend to get is a huge emphasis on what the outcome should be and very little discussion of the process by which uh, you get to it. And so I guess you would say that you want to come to some to move one way in one place and another way in the other.